I promised you earlier I would get you some ears. There you go. Thank uh, you. Pudsey will keep them warm for you. Thank um, you. There you go. Well, I do the forecast. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's been glorious, hasn't it, today? We've had some really, really nice weather photos sent in as well. Let's just take a look at this first one sent in from Sue this morning, showing a little bit of early morning mist, but already that sunshine breaking through. I think we can head to our next photo now to show at the afternoon. It's just perfect this time of year, isn't it? I feel like autumn is really doing its thing at the moment. So thank you to Butterfly in Rotherham for sending this glorious photo in. If you do take a photo this weekend and you'd like to send it into us here at Look North, you can do it on, on X, formerly Twitter, on Instagram, or you can become one of our BBC Weather Watchers and send it in there. So the forecast for the weekend then, it is unfortunately turning a little bit more unsettled. I don't think we'll be seeing quite so much autumn sunshine as what we had out there today. We'll have outbreaks of rain to start the day tomorrow. It'll be a blustery day. The afternoon could improve a little bit, but it will stay very windy. All thanks to this area of low pressure. It's very much in the driving seat this weekend, bringing quite strong southwesterly winds, but the winds are also pulling up tropical air, so it will feel milder over the next couple of days. And then as we head through to the start of next week, Monday still quite unsettled, but Tuesday we'll see an area of high pressure building in and that should settle our weather down a little bit more. So looking at the radar, you can see what's waiting in the wings, just lurking out in the Atlantic, making its way towards us through this evening and overnight. So turning much cloudier, we'll start to see outbreaks of rain moving through this evening. That rain does look quite heavy. You can see the greener colours indicating the heavier bursts and turning windy as that rain moves through as well, with temperatures dropping back to five degrees Celsius. Our temperatures will probably drop quite quickly this evening and then perhaps rise a little bit as we start the day tomorrow. And that's due to that tropical air moving in. High waters then for tomorrow, Scarborough at 10 past seven and then again at 7.27 in the evening. So a very unsettled start to your weekend. I'm afraid it'll be wet and windy, but the heaviest and most persistent of that rain will clear quite quickly. So heading out into the North Sea, a couple of showers following on, but actually a decent spell of drier and brighter weather tomorrow afternoon. And look at those temperatures, much milder than it's been out there today. We've had eight, nines, maybe 10 degrees at very best today. And I think tomorrow and Sunday, we could see 14, or 15 degrees Celsius, so a very different feel to things, but staying very windy tomorrow afternoon, even though that rain clears through. Sunday looks very similar. We'll see outbreaks of showery rain. Some of that rain could be quite heavy, and again, it'll be fairly blustery. I think it could brighten up a little bit across parts of South Yorkshire Sunday afternoon, but staying unsettled into the start of next week, and then high pressure should build in, so quieter from Tuesday. Thank, Thank you very much, Abby. Come and join us. There you go, there are your ears. Much. Now, something really special to finish with, which will raise a smile and maybe a tear. Each year, a highlight of Children in Need is, of course, the choir made up of young people from right across the country. This year, we have six wonderful singers from Silston Common Junior and Infant School taking part. We'd like to thank them um, and also to Wentworth Woodhouse, which proved to be an incredible backdrop, as you'll see. But most of all, thank you to you for supporting Children in Need. From us, it's good evening. Hope you enjoy this. Good night. <laughs>